Yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a beat into Studio One so that you can record your next song, okay? Very, very simple. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna waste your time in it. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here. Now, I did get this question from a commenter on one of my other videos just asking me how do they get the beat into, I think it was FL Studio, but I decided to do this video for both FL Studio and Studio One because I use Studio One to actually record and FL Studio because, you know, the gentleman asked for that. So, in order to do this, it's very, very simple. You just need to go to where your beat is hosted on your computer. Um, I'm gonna do that right about now and go to my whole suite of beats. By the way, if you don't have any beats and you want some beats that you can actually use so that you can monetize your music, upload it to Spotify, all that sort of stuff, I've got a free gift for you. Link is in the description or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats and you can get five of my best R&B trap beats for absolutely free. That also comes with five of my basic licenses, which usually cost $29.95 each. So you get over $100 of free beats. Very, very nice. Get that before it goes away. Now, let's show you exactly how to do this, shall we? So in my hard drive, in my untagged webs folder, I've got a bunch of beats, right? So I'm just gonna pick one and just drag it in here. So this is an MP3. Let me drag a web in here. So it really doesn't matter whether you have an MP3 or WAV, both will work. Now with FL Studio, there is a difference there because I believe on certain editions of FL Studio, you can't actually drag in MP3, but I'll talk more about that in the FL Studio version of this video. In Studio One, at least in the version that I've got, I can drag in both WAVs and mp3s if you find that this is not working for you then you might need to upgrade the actual version of studio one that you've got so let's get rid of this because we don't need it remove and let's play this back real quick to show you that the beat is actually in here and we can record along to it so let's play you probably are not even hearing this because i need to change my audio device to FL Studio for this to actually work and for anything to play back. So <laughs> I just tried to show you the beat, but you probably didn't hear that, so I've cut that out. Let's do it again, okay? And if you want to grab this beat, I'll leave a link down below to the beat that you can purchase on my beat store. But let me quickly show you that we can just record something over it and it will actually work. Yeah. Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, no, no, not fair. Uh, why not uh, over there? Uh, man, no, 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 uh, I don't know, no, 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 I don't know what I was doing then. I was just riffing and I don't know what key this is in. So I haven't changed the auto tune either. But if you play the spec, you'll hear the vocals and the beat together, which is in essence, a song. A song would have words. <laughs> That's besides the point. Now you know you can easily drag your file into Studio One, preferably a WAV file because a WAV is just better quality, especially if you want to make a song and you want to upload it to Spotify and stuff, you should be recording over a WAV file, although recording over MP3 file will work as well. It's just going to be less quality and then when you export it, you're gonna be downgrading the quality again. So that's why you wanna use a web file. But I hope this helped you out. I tried to keep it very, very simple, very, very straight to the point and as quick as possible. If you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. My question of the day is, what kind of song are you creating today? What genre of song are you creating? And what's it about? Let me know in the comment section. I think I'll be very interested. And I'll see you in the next video where you learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. Peace out.